LEC is in 17 minutes. So I figured I would uh, talk about that. Now, let me do the comment that someone linked me. Apparently. Now, it's, it's back responding to what me and Dom said. Okay, so because we only have 17 minutes, I can't watch the video, but I did want to respond to this comment because I just thought this was so fucking weird. Um, okay, so this is the comment. Uh, LS and I will dominate. Thanks, C9 won't improve because of coaching. On the latest episode of Facetrack, LS, I will dominate, and Degon discuss what went wrong with C9 and why they lost. One major point that they bring up is that there was a brain drain, and Mithy is not a good coach. Max Waldo left. Revan uh, coached Academy last split before leaving to TSM. Vigar possibly not being as active with the current team. He didn't do well taking over uh, for Rainover the first time around, and then 100 Thieves looked really bad when he was an assistant coach. Those teams had no identity, and their only approach is to scale and hand stiff. They also touched on Eminence and Fudge have been slumping, which is demonstrably true. Now, this is where the cognitive dissonance will happen inside of this thread, where people fail to realize that Fudge is one of the people that I care most about in the entire esports space. And yet, in this episode, I obviously talk very negatively of Fudge's performance throughout summer and inside of playoffs and stuff. Though, but that part just gets ignored. Fudge opting into the worst side of matchups and drafts and Eminence being very coin flippy. Overall episode. Okay, so now Jack responds, These guys haven't seen how we run, so everything they say is widely speculative. False. One, I was there at C9, and I know with a absolute certainty that the, ma the the manner in which they operate their days is the same. And I also know that it's the same because I continue to talk to people that are within the org. In addition to that, Revan is one of my best friends in life, and Revan just left the org a couple of months ago. In addition to that, I still continue to talk to Max, I continue to talk to several players, and I continue to talk to other coaches on the coaching staff. I actually know the ins and outs of most of their days. I actually know things that are going on inside of their team, and I know... Pretty much everything that you could actually know. The other crazy thing is that Dom is also friends with everyone. So it's not speculation. It's absolutely not speculation. It is such a wild first sentence to say that it's wildly speculative. We're confident in our coaching staff. Great. Mithy, Vigar, Duffman, Rigby, our data team and managers work smart and work hard. Great. We had a bad day and NRG had a good day. Wrong. Congrats to them. Yes, true. As for international, I recommend fans understand the LPL and LCK have massive advantages on the West. Um, yeah, they do. They they absolutely do have massive advantages um, on the West. We're going to have to work very hard to compete, but I think it's time that fans in general be more supportive of our region's players and perhaps not be so quick. Wait, he edited this. Oh, no, he didn't edit. Wait, did he edit? Why did I think I... Oh, here it is. Oh my god, okay. Okay. But I think it's time and fans will be more supportive of our region's players and perhaps not be so quick to belittle regions that don't have the same resources. What does that mean? NA has the most resources. North America, out of all of the regions in the world, has the most resources. It had the most money. By far, it had the largest staffs. Uh, it had the most catering given to it. It also has a low ping, uh, server that was one bill, and there's also just TR, which you can scrim on. Doesn't even make any sense. What, what, define resources. What is resources? What, what, what is resources? I don't, I don't understand what that is. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know what resources is. Because I, I can say with the absolute, the absolute utmost certainty, Okay that NA in Europe were dwarfing LPL and LCK in terms of actual support and resources for several years in a row. And it wasn't until maybe uh, recently, like certain, not all, certain Asian teams do have comparable resources at their, uh, you know, disposal. So, I don't know. I have no idea what this comment is. This comment is, uh, <laughs> this comment, it, it also, it's fine. If Jack wants to flame me, it's fine. Dude, I don't know how he's flaming Dom. I don't, I, like, these guys. Just fucking say LS. What the hell is this? No, I, I'd like to think that he's on good terms with Dom. I don't know why Dom is catching uh, flack from this. If, if, if Jack wants to flame me when I can just, like, uh, the same way that I, you know, I, I, what is this? Oh, he has a new comment. You've been misinformed on we're going to Korea. We're going to arrive in Korea uh, before World's Patch is even available. Right now, we've got COVID running through many of the players at finals, and at least two of them, including Cloud9. We're going to get healthy and get to Korea with massively more time than ever before to prepare for Worlds. Yeah, that, okay, that's good. That is good. Um, but 
I mean, I, I also know the, the sentiment that is uh, shared by a lot of the nine players and staff members is that boot camps in Korea aren't effective. And I could say many reasons why that is the case, but uh, perhaps specific language that I would end up having to use to describe it would end up revealing like, you know, who and, and what it's coming from. So it's like, it's kind of weird. Like, it's just, it's just strange, man. So strange. Also, I think it's a, I think it's a really horrible, um, fr from uh, like, I, I see now I can't even say it. I can't even answer it. I can't, I, I can't even answer it. Yeah. I can't, I can't expand further. But anyways, yeah, it's just really strange. It's just a really weird comment. It's just a very, very weird comment. Um, but also, I mean, Jack's in a position where he, he, he can't not defend his own coaching staff. And I understand that too. Um, but th uh, the other thing about like speculation about their gameplay, I, that's also impossible. Like I talked about this with Dom and me and Dom basically said the same thing. It's not speculation to watch their gameplay literally uh, get worse over the course of the year. That's, that's not speculation. It, it, it's very visible. You can also demonstrate in ways that they're actually progressively getting worse at doing certain things that they weren't doing before. I mean, this is, this is all, it's all demonstrable. Now, uh, if, if there's anything I know uh, about C9, they don't like when you can actually demonstrate things, um, you know, because that would be, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Same way, uh, <clears throat> same way Galileo could uh, demonstrate that uh, the Earth rotated the sun. They, they didn't really like house arrest for him. Um, okay, so let's uh, get ready for LEC. We have 10 minutes. Um, that comment obviously pisses me off. It more, it more so pisses me off because Dom is getting flamed and, and it, it strikes me really weird. I would actually have, like, I would have liked it more if Dom doesn't catch flack because Jack could have easily just used what I said to go at me and that would be fine. Um, but it's like weird that he chooses to lump Dom into it. Um, but I guess maybe he thinks that he has to because Dom agrees with me. I'm not sure.